There are estimated to be 35 million people in the U.S. with some level of motor impairment. Designing your application to support accessibility services not only opens up your application to these users, but it has the potential to improve your design for everyone. Users with motor impairments have a wide range of conditions, including spinal cord injuries, multiple sclerosis, ALS, cerebral palsy, essential tremor, and Parkinson's. These users may find it difficult to use a touchscreen, particularly if your app relies on small touch targets or complex gestures. Google has developed the accessibility services Switch Access and Voice Access in order to provide these users with alternate means of operating their devices. With Switch Access, users press one or more physical hardware buttons to scan through items on their screen and select the one they want. Voice Access lets users speak their commands to the device in order to tap, scroll, or enter text. OK, Google, start Voice Access. Go home. Open phone. Click 17. Go home. Tap 8. Go back. Swipe right. By keeping a few design considerations in mind, you can radically transform the quality of user interaction between your app and switch access and voice access. A switch access user usually scans the screen from top to bottom, therefore it's a good idea to keep elements on the screen logically organized. Small touch targets can be difficult for users to select, so we recommend that touch targets be at least 48 by 48 dp. In addition, users can have difficulty interacting with touch targets that are closely grouped together. Therefore, we suggest having low-density layouts. Ensure that clickable and long-clickable items are correctly labeled, and that the clickable attribute hasn't been added to any non-clickable items. You can easily try out Switch Access in your own app by going to Settings, Accessibility, Switch Access, Opening Switch Access Settings, and then by assigning a volume key to act as a switch. You can also use a USB or Bluetooth keyboard. Then, ensure that you can perform every action in the app with the switch. Make sure that each item can be scrolled through and it is clear what each one does. To learn more about switch access or voice access, check out these links at developer.android.com. You should also consider watching our video on developing for users with visual impairments.